Aunque quiera entrar calladita, no puedo. Hello, you guys. Hi, teacher. Good afternoon. Good evening. <laughs> Good evening. <laughs> okay. Are you still in the afternoon? Yeah, maybe. <laughs> you don't want it to be the night, right? Uh, no, not yet. Okay, okay. Otherwise, I would want to sleep. <laughs> yeah, almost time. At what time do you go to bed, guys? Well, good question. <laughs> 11, maybe. 11? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you, Jessica? 1 a.m. 1 a.m. 1 a.m.? Why? Yeah. Ay, yeah, yeah. Actually, uh, last night, well, I sleep, slept at 3, no, 4, 4 a.m. today. Why? In the morning. I don't know. Uh, you have insomnia? I think so. Yeah, I think you have insomnia. Yeah. So I And at what time do you wake up? Five, I wake up at 5, 5.45 a.m. You only slept one hour and 45 minutes? Yeah. Uh, wow. <laughs> but did you get a chance to take a nap? In the afternoon or not? Uh, me, <laughs> did, did you get to take, take a nap in the afternoon? No. So maybe you're gonna be sleeping early to, today? I, I think, I think uh, at, at 10 p.m., but I, I have sleep. I have sleep. I, I don't know, like. Um, for me, guys, I mean, I, there's some people that have insomnia, so maybe that's what Jessica has, like the insomnia thing. Because for me, only if I'm working, I still up until, well, no, nah, I'm lying, I'm lying. So our bodies, they get, they get used to times, right? So maybe you will get, I, I don't know, maybe you can be late, up late, one day and then you go to bed early but usually your body is gonna find a time where it wants to sleep and it wants to wake up right so for me even though i want to to stay up late my body cannot resist be like the the, the most that it can resist is until 1 30 a.m so 1 30 a.m i'm like this so I cannot continue at 1.30 a.m. But I have to <laughs> because I have to be uploading the video in the class. So if you check in the morning, the video is there. So the class is there and I have to upload the video every day. So I have to stay up until 1.30, sometimes 2 a.m. But the good thing, I don't wake up early. I wake up, well, meh. sometimes guys, I don't know, I wish I was a little, kid again because little kids can sleep so for so for so long and in my case sometimes I, I go to bed at 2 a.m and I want and I say like ah, mañana voy a despertar a las de la mañana because I don't have anything to yeah. do right yeah. no my body is like mm, 6 a.m yeah it seems like a good time to start the day <laughs> I'm like no I have only slept four hours and my body's like no I think that's okay <laughs> yeah so in my case on Saturday you you, uh, you wake I, up early? Yeah, and I hate that because I I, I think tomorrow when on on Friday I say, mm -hmm. tomorrow I wake up uh, late between eight nine a.m. No, mm -hmm. no, I like early. I, I I wake up early. The body, I don't know. The body has its ways, but I don't like to wake up early on 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 weekends. Or when I have like the morning free and I have to like my body is like, no, you know what? And, and this is what happens, guys. When you have to wake up early, your body is like, mm, no. one more time. <laughs> I think we're going to sleep and we're going to go to bed like, yeah. Hi, the person who's behind Suleyma. Hi. <laughs> They're saying hi, right? Okay. So let's go with attendance, you guys. Uh, yeah, today is the 26th. So remember, cameras on, 
and full names. So I'm gonna start. Ana Beatriz Valencia Ruiz. Ana Elizabeth Perrios de Sandoval. I'm here. Excellent. Brenda Erlinda Sáenz Villatoro. I'm here. Claudia Lorena Carca Morgueta. Diana Yesenia Reyes Salas. No. Diana. She's connected, but maybe she's not listening us. Listening us. Would you say, teacher? Sorry, I'm here. But tell me the reason why you cannot turn on your camera. Okay, okay, she's at the work. Okay. Um, Estefanía Alexandra Aguilar Céspedes. Flor Hidalma Ramírez Calderón. I'm here. Harvin Isaac Guevara Miranda. No. Jennifer Gisela López Sánchez. Okay. Juan José Avalos Campos. I am here. Excellent. Katia Margarita Herrero Pérez. Kerry Tiffany Rosales Figueroa. Merlin Lisbeth Ventura Cruz. I'm your teacher, but right now I'm driving. I'm sorry. Okay, okay. Thank you for letting okay. me know. Miguel Ángel Centeno. I'm here. Okay. Rolando Antonio Quintanilla, Ciudad Real. I'm here. Ruth Saray Medrano Aguilar. I'm here. Suleima Lisette Méndez Romero. I'm here, teacher. William Antonio Morales Mancía. Hmm. Bueno, William, ya llevo un ratito que no, ¿verdad? Jessica sí. Yanari Cortés Díaz. I'm here. Give me a minute, guys. ¿Escucharon ahora o no? Sí yes. se escuchó. ¿Se escuchó? No, teacher. Ah, yo dije este. Entonces el mute no, no sirve de nada. Ah, I have allergies again. I don't know what's happening. Ok. Um, Silvia María Rivera Rivas. Ok. Let's go. Ok, guys. That was it with the atten attendance. Uh, remember, and I have to remind you of this. Coming to classes is very important. Not only working in the platform, but coming to classes is one of the most important things that you can do. I know for many of you, this is your first module studying online with INSAFOR. Maybe you have studied in, in other academies with other programs, but in this one particularly, like it's INSAFOR, right? We have to be on time. Every single class, we have to be like as 120 minutes, right? So for every single class, you are, well, I'm, I'm not allowed to give you permission. Like, yeah, yeah, no se preocupe. Like, it's okay if you don't connect to the class today. I cannot do that, okay? The only thing that I can do is, for example, when you come to the class and like Diana did right now, you text me why you cannot have your camera on and then I will be able to understand. But that's the only way. The other thing is that you have to have your cameras on or if there's something special going on and you have to tell me why your camera is going to be off, okay? Those are the, the exceptions that we can do. Otherwise, I will need cameras on. I know that Merlin is driving, Diana's working, uh, Anna is working too, but Suleyma is working too with the camera on. Okay, Stephanie is going to drive too. Miguel Angel, I don't know why the camera is off. So yeah, guys, please, 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 as much as you can, try to keep your cameras on because that is very, very important at the end of the module. Okay, that was one thing. And Brenda. I send a report about the exercise that have mistakes. So maybe they are going to be fixing that this week. Excellent. In that case, I can finish the thing completely. Yeah, you can have a, a hundred, right? Because you're already finished, but yeah, 
a better grade. I understand. <laughs> Don't worry. Okay, guys. So welcome to the class. I'm happy that every one of you, the ones that are here, are here. And the other ones, we're going to wait a little bit for, for them, but that's okay. So is there someone here who wants to say the tongue twister this day? No, espérense, todos no. Just wait. Just wait. Nobody wants to say the tongue twister. So am I allowed to choose? So maybe I'm gonna be the one choosing. So who was the person who said it really, really, or Ruth was the person who said it really, really good yesterday, right? Ruth was like, uh, it was very, very right, right? Ruth was like, she was rapping. She was eminent yesterday. So let's see who's gonna be the person today. Miguel, can you try? Yes. Okay. Try. Is it raining where you live? Yes, it's raining very hard. <laughs> well, maybe that will help you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> can you? Um, oh, you want me to share the screen? Me. Yes, yes. Please. Okay. Let me. Let me. Let me. Just a second. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna tell you one, two, three. Very bad or very bother, but very, very bad was better. So, very bad, bad or very bad, better bother, and it was better than the color, very bad before. Butter. Butter. Okay, good job, good job, very good, very good. It was really good. Oh, like you're gonna say, all right, like ready with a bit of butter. Yeah, but it's butter. Okay, very good. Flor okay. is giving an applause. So, guys, give him an applause. Be good classmates. Okay, oh my god, guys, give me a second. I have to control my allergies. Just wait a minute. A second. I'm sorry, you guys, but today, uh, I don't know what, what's going on. It's not raining. I don't know. I don't know. That's why I'm saying I'm allergic to life. That's what I'm, I'm allergic to. Okay. <sighs> Let's hope I can breathe in a little bit. Okay. Uh, someone else, someone else, someone else, someone uh, else. Uh, 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 uh. Flor. You want me to share the screen or is it okay? Yes, no, yes, please. Okay. Okay. Very bad a bit. Again, again. Very okay, bad a bit fine. of butter, but the butter very bad was bitter. So very bad a better butter and it was better than the butter very bad before. Excellent. Good job. Give her an applause, you guys. Please, guys. Uh, <laughs> please, please. As they call saying, si le gustó, aplauda, right? <laughs> Miren, hasta Miguel con le está dando aplausos. Okay. <laughs> Very good, you guys. Someone else? Ahora voluntariamente. Someone else. It's up to you if you want to say it. Nope. Remember, this is not like a, an evaluation. I'm not going to grade this. It's just for you to improve your pronunciation. That's all it is. And we're going to start with a new one pretty soon, okay? So let's start with the class. This is, okay. Can you please read the topic for today, Ana Beatriz? Human resources, vocabulary. Vocabulary, remember the v vocabulary. Vocabulary. Okay. Uh, can you read the date, please, Jessica? Okay, teacher. Wednesday, May 26th, 2021. Excellent. Good job. Are you feeling sleepy, Jessica, or insomnia again? No, I have a sleep. <laughs> You're sleepy right now? Yeah. So I'm gonna yeah. try to I'm gonna try to keep you active. So I'm gonna be okay. asking, hey Jessica, hey yeah, yeah. <laughs> to keep you awake. Okay. <laughs> okay, very good, very good. 
You should see my students at 1 p.m. I have a course at 1 p.m. And 1 p.m. is like the worst hour to teach. Everyone is like, they're like, oh, and they're like, I don't After know. After eat lunch. <laughs> yeah, maybe maybe it's like kids. You eat and you need a nap. <laughs> like, I don't know. <laughs> it's, it's like that all the time. Okay. So, oh, 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 oh. Let's go to the first question. Can you please read the question, Ronald? Ronaldo, Ronaldo, Ronaldo. This teacher is Rolando. Rolando, Rolando. Oh my God. Sorry, I'm sorry. Ro no Ro Rolando. <laughs> okay, what do you what do you know about the HRR R. department in your company? Make a list. Okay, thank you, Rolando. So what do you know about the HR department in your company? Make a list. What is the HR department? Human resources. Human resources. Okay, human resources. Very good. Thank you very much, Brenda. So yes, that's what it is. I want you to make a list right now what you know about this particular department in your company. So for example, they are in charge of hiring people, or maybe not, maybe the, the boss is in charge of that, but they are in charge of the interviews. They are in charge of any employees that have something to, to complain about, okay? So make a list right now, at least five things that you know they do, okay? You want me to say it in Spanish? I want to say una lista de cinco cosas que ustedes sepan que se hacen en recursos humanos en su compañía. Okay, and you send that to the chat. Here, this chat, no WhatsApp. Teacher. Teacher. Yeah. Teacher. Yeah. I have a question. Can I um close the camera just to get it, just to arrive to my house? Yeah, yeah, I yeah. Guess... <laughs> Are you gonna drive right now? No, I'm going to be the computer. Okay. okay, that's fine, that's fine. Uh -huh. Okay, that's fine, that's fine. Teacher, how do you say planilla de empleados? That's a good question. Payroll. Payroll, yeah, I think it's the payroll, that's true. But I'm, let me look for it. Yeah, I think it's the payroll. Employee payroll. Yeah, that's true. Thank you very much, Jessica. So I'm gonna scare you guys. 
there's a scorpion in the kitchen. <laughs> I'm scared. Okay, one more minute. They are no, they do. Um, they are do no. Remember, they do the interviews, they do evaluations, they do the payrolls. Because, yeah, R is another verb. It's like you're saying two verbs together. Teacher, it's correct yeah. to say they plan activities in the company. Yeah, they plan, plan, plan. plan. Yeah. No plans. Okay, they plan activities in the company. Yeah, Good. that's that's okay. Teacher, how can I say, um, como la introducción, la inducción? Induction week. Mm. Okay. I think that that's it. Let me see. Yes, it's induction. Okay, thank you. Yeah, they publish board positions, that's true. Higher with that without the D at the end. Higher. They apply discipline. I will say they are they are in charge of the discipline. They are in charge. Se puede escuchar lo que mi familia está viendo en la tele. ¿No? No. No. Jessica, sí. Yes. Y es la que la que está a la lo que... lejos. Oh, pero no se escucha qué dicen. No, 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 okay. no, no. no. Okay. Yeah, porque estaban diciendo algo y me quedé. Mm -mm, I don't want it that to be here. <laughs> ah, pero el gecko lo primero que se oye. Ah, sí, eso sí. Teacher. Teacher, how do you speak sordo? Ok, wait a minute, wait a minute. Sordo is deaf. Uh, Miguel. I'm going to tell you uh, the meme. What is the meme? <laughs> uh, your family. Uh, when you ask for, I hear your family. So, what is the meme? Cuando se preguntó que si se escuchaba el, el, lo que estaba hablando de su familia. Uh -huh. ah, ajá. ¿Cuál eh, es el meme? El meme, digamos, lo que ellos están diciendo, lo escuchamos todos. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I know. But no, 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 no. We're here in my house. They, they... <laughs> They need to watch something while I'm on the I'm, 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 I'm in classes, right? So they download episodes. They are watching this TV show that is called How to Get Away with Murder. Have you ever watched it? No? <laughs> My dad. So the name of this show is How to Get Away with Murder. So como salir. I don't know how to say it in Spanish. Cómo escaparse de haber matado a alguien. I don't know, something like that. And it says how to get away with murder if you say it quickly. So my dad, he doesn't speak English. Yeah, he has a daughter who does speak English, but he doesn't. So um, he says, hara wara wara. Van a poner el hara wara. So that's what my dad says. <laughs> Instead of how to get away with murder. <laughs> hara wara. Okay. That's enough guys. So right now I'm going to send you to the breakout rooms and we're going to discuss about this question right here. So what does the human resources 
do in your company, the activities you know they do. Usually it will be the same, like hire people, interviews and stuff, but maybe in some companies they do a little bit more and in some companies they do different activities, okay? So we're gonna discuss that. And if you have ever been part of human resources, please share what you did, what was the experience like, if you liked it or you didn't. So please, or we're gonna talk about human resources right now. Is it understandable, the activity? Díganme, díganme si se entiende. Porque después me van a decir, no, teacher, allá en los breakout rooms estamos platicando, ¿qué, qué, 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 qué dijo la teacher? No, díganme, if you don't understand, I'm going to explain it again. Teacher, would you mind explaining again, please? That's fine. So we're going to discuss this question. So we're going to be talking about the list you did, okay? This is what we're going to share with our classmates. And then when we finished, you are going to say if you have ever been, si alguna vez han sido, part of human resources. And if you liked it, how was the job? What activities you did? Okay? Is it understandable now or should I say it in Spanish? Yes. So, so? Van a discutir la pregunta y después si han sido parte de Human Resources, que son recursos humanos, van a compartir cómo fue su experiencia. Ok. Let's go to eat. To eat. No, I already ate. Let me see. So Merlin is driving. Jennifer, why are your cameras off? Ok, now I can see you. Very good. Ok, so Suleim is driving. Merlin is driving. Stefania is driving. Well, well, at least they are, they are in the car. Anna Elizabeth is in the, okay. Okay, 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 okay. So I'm gonna make the groups like this, so it's not complicated. So let's see this group. Anna Elizabeth, Stefania, no. Well, let's go. Have you ever been part of human resources team? Excuse me, excuse me. Have you ever been part of human resources team? 
Uh, no. Uh, for this moment, I don't. I don't know part of the human resource in, in my work. Teacher, one question. No. Oh, but have you ever been means that si alguna vez lo ha sido. But I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Brenda? The question is, how do you say when somebody is um, caring about what you do? Because uh, in Spanish would be like estar pendiente de algo, but it cannot be translated like pending. No, 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 it cannot be like pending. So do you want to say like they are, eh, que ellos están pendientes de? The, of the works activities. So they are aware, they are aware of the work. No, no, they are aware, I don't like it. Look after, could be. They look after the activities. Yeah, they look after the activities. That That's a good option. They look after the activities. And let me see if I can find another one. Estar pendiente. Oh, they are checking maybe. Uh, they, they are checking the activities okay. continuously. Okay, now okay. you, Jennifer. I want to hear you. <laughs> okay. Ask me. What do you know about the human resources department in your company? Well, I don't know so much, but as far as I know, they prepare payroll. They prepare also payroll and present to E ISP, sorry, AFP and Instituto Salvadoreño de Seguro Social. And they also present. Did you have experience in human resource area? No, but I have to work with them. When I was, I work as a supervisor, I have to work with them. For example, I help them to, to make the evaluation of the staff and I coordinate the, the party that I says before vacation. That's yes. right. What about you, Ruth? Uh, my ex experience uh, was in the company is American Security and I was as an assistant of the assistant <laughs> and I, I, I had to scan where the, the employees documents like the GUI and NIP and uh, save as a PDF in the computer and uh, for to add a, a, a file, a uh, expediente. Mm -hmm. uh, and I received, uh, I received uh, the curriculum, uh, enter the personal data of a um, database. Uh, I just do this. I, I did this. Uh, I worked just a few months in this company. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So you you are you or you work in uh, that that have the that got that get the job. Okay. Okay. Sometimes I have the opportunity to interview two or three people, especially when we need a new assistant. Okay. I have never been in human resources, but I, I would like. Okay. <laughs> and you, Orlando? You're... You are in mute. <laughs> but don't worry, Rolando. We understand all that you said. Uh, again, <laughs> and with, with inspiration. <laughs> yeah. No, I never work in, in this department. All my life, I work at a technician. 
like technician and and I don't know uh, the rules for this department. Yeah, but but when I saw the the partners to this department, I saw that it's really interesting because they are involved in many activities. Yeah. Um, and they know they know all the 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 employees of the company. Yes. Would, you, would you like would you like to to work in uh, human resources, Roland? No, no. For me, <laughs> for me, <laughs> the the better is fixed machine.
you didn't want to come. Why is that? Was the conversation very interesting in the breakout rooms? It seems like it. It sounds like it, yeah, because I, I asked everyone to come and I was like, well, oh, they're not coming to the main session. I don't know what they're talking about. <laughs> okay, so human resources is a big topic and we can talk a lot of things about that. But I want you to tell me if you have ever been part of the human resources team, okay? So if you have been part of that, raise your hand or do a reaction there like this or something. if you have ever been part of human resources. Nobody has been part of human resources. Anna Elizabeth has been, okay. Just Anna Elizabeth and Ruth, just them two, okay. So Anna Elizabeth, can you speak right now or not? Yeah, I can, I'm going to my home right now, so, but I can. Okay, so just share with us your experience working in human resources. Well, I I had the experience for a short time because it was just for a internship that I have. Uh, I don't remember, maybe five years ago, it's for a long time ago, uh, but I worked like a human resources assistant uh, I was in charge of uh, publish uh, the um, all the the yeah okay sorry uh, I published the oh my gosh the perfil the per I don't remember the word Perfiles. profiles profiles yes uh, the profiles uh, in the website and uh, i make the appointments i call the people and i was part of the interviews too uh, to ask uh, for another internship that we have the company was for it positions and uh, they choose the people that work in banks uh, i remember uh, maybe the vivienda i think mm -hmm. and different banks that they worked and the company was very uh, small uh, but i don't know in in my opinion if you ask me for me it was the best, uh, the first uh, work experience that i have so it was great because i learned different things and it helped me to grow as a person but my boss was very 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 difficult and she was so mean with the people and uh, I have to learn how to handle with that and the pressure too. Yeah. So, yeah. It's yeah. the only thing that maybe I can say that it's difficult. But okay. for the other reasons, it's okay. I think that okay. I love to make interviews. It's interesting. Oh. Yeah. Other people. <laughs> I know. Okay, Anna, thank you for sharing your experience. Welcome. Okay, very good. That was good, guys. Um, I'm just gonna ask something. Jessica, are you okay? You know, it's raining here. Oh, because when I was, uh, <laughs> when when Anna was speaking, your lights kept doing this. Right? No, no, it's the light. 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 <laughs> no, no, no. Okay. okay, but you're okay, right? Okay, very good. Yeah, yeah. Excellent. Okay, I'm going with. So, Diana, you want to say something, or you were part of uh, human resources? I just want to say that I remember that I did an internship, but I was in in the high school, and I was the assistant from the from the human resource uh, director and in a Suiza. And that was really funny because they, um, she, I'm sorry, she gave me all the resumes that she Resume. received 
resume is that, that she received. And she, she ordered to me to discard as that, that's that I think are not good for the company, but I didn't know anything about that. And I just went, I just read the, the resumes and, uh, and I said, oh, okay, I think this is not good. And, and that's it. Okay. Okay. Diana, thank you for sharing. Yeah. Sometimes we have we have been asked to do jobs that we're like, yeah, how am I supposed to do this, right? And something I just want to say, because Anna was saying that she likes to do the interviews. For me, guys, it's very difficult. Like, I haven't been interviewing people from human resources, but I have been interviewing students that want to learn English. And that is one of the most challenging stuff that I have been going through as a teacher. Because sometimes I'm asking people things like, okay, so I'm gonna give you an example, and this is a real example, and then I'm gonna go with Ruth because I need to hear her, her experience, okay, Ruth? But here's an example, guys. One time I was interview, interviewing, once I was interviewing this person and I asked her, hey, what's your name? Like the, the, the question has have to be in English because it's, it's to study English. So I need to know the level of the people. So if they are basic one and stuff like that. So I asked her, hey, what's your name? And she said, oh yes, teacher, teacher, yes, pupusas. Uh, <laughs> and guys, it's so difficult, so difficult to me, very difficult. So imagine you're really serious. And says, hey, how was your name? And someone says, yeah, 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 teacher, yes, pupusas. And you're like, revueltas. Yeah, and you're like, you have to keep your face like it's nothing. Like, yeah, but I wanted to laugh so bad. <laughs> and I was like, oh, I like pupusas too. And I, and I take took advantage of that and I start laughing with that person, right? <laughs> but it's so difficult, guys. It, it's, it's, wait a minute. Juan Jose, you want to say something? No? No, I saw you like your microphone was on. Okay, so only, only, only uh -huh. um, when the student, um, uh, when you ask to him and he um, uh, says that proposal, uh, I think that he, he is was security in him himself, security for him. Yeah, yeah. She it was it was she and it was she was like, oh yeah, teacher, like hey, chicha la sella la hice. Yeah, I know this answer. I know this answer. This answer is pupusas, teacher. And I was like, <laughs> well, like, mm, how can I say this? And then I, I ask another person, hey, uh, like, what's your name? And well, the person say my name is blah blah blah. And then I ask, how old are you? And the person said, ah, fine, teacher, I'm doing fine. I was like yeah it's how old are you and i had repeat the question like i said how old are you i'm fine teacher <laughs> just like oh my god i cannot continue with this because the person was like oh she's asking me again i'm gonna say it like the more enthusiastic oh i'm fine teacher and i was like i'm not asking if you're fine or not i'm gonna ask about your age so yeah so <laughs> Yeah. Está como la, cuando hacían duro blandito la tenchis, que le dijeron que solo dijera yes or no. Yes, <laughs> yes, yes, I know. And I had another student that he came from the United States, deported, deported, deportado, I don't, deported, I think that's the word, I don't know. So he came from the United States and he was like, yeah, teacher, I live in the United States for five years, I know English. And I was like, oh, okay, okay, so let's do this interview. So, hello, how are you? I'm doing good. And I was like, oh, okay, it's good. And what's your name? My name is blah, blah, blah. And do you live in... And I asked the, the place, so do you live here? And he said, yes, yes, I do, yes. And what, can you describe the place? Yes, yes. I was like, huh? Okay, so describe the place. Yes, yes. And okay, where do you work? Yes, yes, no. And sometimes he will say like, no, no, no. 
And sometimes like, yes, 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 yes. So do you know English? Yes, yes. Where did you learn English? No, no, no. So he was like that. And, I, and he was like, Juan Jose is saying, he was so sure of, him, of himself. He was like, I'm doing this really good. And the teacher is going to be Chuck. Yo estaba, según él, yo estaba impresionada por su nivel de inglés. And I was like, yeah. Y yo estaba escribiendo así porque tenía que escribir su nota, ¿verdad? So it was like this. And he was like, what is she, what is she writing? And I'm like, eh, no, you don't want to see what I'm writing, <laughs> right? So I just thought about that because Anna Elizabeth said that she likes to do the interviews. And I like to do the interviews, but <laughs> sometimes it's hard, really hard. Like you don't have an idea not to laugh. Y cuando uno se supone que no se... Ahorita ustedes se pueden reír porque es algo gracioso. Pero cuando yo estoy haciendo esa entrevista, no me puedo reír, you guys. So eso lo hace dos veces más gracioso de lo que es. Y... A veces es como, se me quiere, and I'm like, no, 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 I'm not supposed to do this, y me pongo roja, 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 roja. So, yeah, I just wanted to share that, guys, yeah, but it's funny. To be a teacher, it's funny. Very, very funny. ¿Qué le pasa con nosotros? No, 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 no. Se quiere reír a veces y se... Oh, Well, yeah. not, not the so much. Tell the teacher. Tell the truth. Tell the truth, teacher. No, actually, actually, no, because you have been the first group that speaks English. The, then I have had many, many, many other groups and they like start, they are starting to learn English, but not so good. So sometimes when you say things, I understand the mistakes, but sometimes with the, I'm talking about the beginners, the beginners is really complicated, but there are some students that they laugh about themselves. Like they know the mistake they did and they start laughing and everybody starts laughing. Like, yeah, I know that was a mistake. Yeah, no, 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 no. But yeah, those things have happened to me. With you guys, no. Las cosas más graciosas que me han pasado es esa que les dije y la de las vejigas. ¿Se acuerdan de las vejigas? Yeah, I remember. No? So I'm going to tell you about that. I'm going to tell you about that later. But there's like, you confuse words. You are trying to say one word and you end up saying another word. ¿De verdad no les dije lo de las, de las vejigas? ¿No? So no, yo teacher. tenía una oración. <ríe> Esa es la más graciosa que me ha pasado toda la vida. <ríe> yo tenía una oración. Bueno, la de las pupusas le gana también. So, estaban unos globos y teníamos que utilizar prepos prepositions of place. So, había una niña y los globos estaban arriba. So she said, you have to write a, you have to write a, a, a sentence about this picture. You will say, the balloons are above the girl, or the girl is under the balloons, or like that, something like that with propositions of place. So my student sent me the answer and she sent, there are many bladders up above the girl. And I was like, bladders, what? And I didn't understand. But then, guys, bladders son vejigas, pero los órganos que tenemos, la vejiga, right? Like el órgano. Y le mando a la muchacha, mire, yo creo que se equivocó. No. Vejigas, vejigas son no. un órgano. Eh, globos son los balloons. Ay, Entonces, no. si aquí me está diciendo que la niña tiene un montón de vejigas. <risa> Así, las partes del cuerpo arriba de ella. And the student was like, no, teacher, I, like, I didn't know. Yo escribí en el traductor vejigas. And, and, uh, like, no. Le dijo, a la, no la voy a buscar el FBI porque está poniendo que hay, hay vejigas arriba de la niña. Like, no, tráfico de órganos. What's happening here? <risa> so, yeah, you guys, be careful, be careful. En especial sean cuidadosos y cuidadosas cuando van a traducir. Like, no siempre se va a significar lo mismo. So, vejigas es como le decimos en El Salvador, but not all the countries call them vejigas. No, that's, that's not a true answer, okay? So, out of the topic, let's get back to it. <laughs> okay, good. Uh, oh, 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 Ruth, Ruth, share, share your experience with us, please. Uh, okay. <laughs> I worked uh, a few months in this company. Uh, the name is American Security. Security. It's only for for security man <laughs> and so like watchmen. 
like a vigilantes? Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes. And uh, I say of my, my partner le, that I was a, an assistant of the assistant. Como el compadre del compadre. Uh, yes. Uh, so I I learned to do uh, a scan the scan the, the employees documents uh, to add to their files file. Files. Files. Okay. Yes. Receive. Received uh, the curriculum, uh, entered the personal data uh, of new employees in a database, data, database. Mm -hmm. database. Database. And I don't know, I, only that I, I didn't know, know nothing of, about, about the task, the, the task uh, of, of, in, uh, of, human, of human resource. But in 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 this month, two months, <laughs> only two months, uh, I learn a few that I learn. Uh, they teach me, uh, taught me a, a bit of, of, of the task uh, that they did in in this. They taught me because it's in the past, right? So they taught me. Taught me. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. and did you like it? Yes, yes. <laughs> no, look at that. Yes, like mm, yes, teacher. There are things that are better, but yes. I quit when I find a better work. Oh, you quit? <laughs> quit? Yes. Oh, so only two months. So it was really yes. quick that you found a better job. Okay, good, good, excellent. Thank you very much, Ruth. So, guys, sometimes we have jobs that we don't like that much and sometimes we have jobs that we really like but when we have jobs that we don't like that much no nos gusta mucho ese trabajo pero así como dicen los carritos viejos que les cae, pues se les anda cayendo y los vidrios todos quebrados peor es andar right so peor es no tener trabajo yeah <laughs> i have been there just estado ahí and yeah i prefer to work <laughs> i rather work than not have a job okay let's go with this Good. So we have a conversation here. So Mr. Chan is looking for two employees at RC company. So this is the name of the company, maybe? Yeah. Listen to your teacher, so to me, read the conversation, then practice with a partner, okay? So the first time, you know, I'm gonna read it for pronunciation, then I'm gonna ask you if you have questions and then intonation, okay? So. Excuse me, I am looking for Miss Chavez. Can you tell me who she is? Sure, sure. She is the recruitment, recruitment, recruitment coordinator, coordinator. I see. And cool, cool without the L, you guys. Just cool, 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 cool. You tell me about, 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 about her responsibilities. Or you can say responsibilities, responsibilities, responsibilities or responsibilities. Basically, 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 she. Prov v v. She provides provides recruit recruiting 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 recruiting. I think it's recruiting recruiting administrative administrative v v support for the team of recruiters 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 recruiters. Or you can say they are instead of the T, it's an R, recruiters. I understand. And does Mr. Salgado work here? What does he do? Yes, Mateo Salgado. He is the talent management, management consultant, consultant. Where can I reach, reach, reach 
him. He returns <clears throat> at one o'clock. So do you need extra support with a pronunciation there? Yes. What? Recruiting. Yeah, let me look okay. for that one. It's recruit recruiting. I think it's recruiting. Let me let me let me recruit recruit recruiting. Let me look for it. Just wait a minute. Recruiting. 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 Okay. Recruiting. 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 Okay. Another one. Uh, the requirements. Oh, attendance. Recru recruitment. Re recruitment. 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 Uh, yes. Remove the, the R. Recruit. Re no. Recruitment. Recru recruitment. 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 Ah, uh, okay. Yeah. Another one? Nope. Teacher. Yeah. Uh, the question, can you tell me who she is? Is is the same when you say who is she? It's correct. Can you tell me who is she? Who she is? Yes, who she is, who she is, who is she? And uh, yes, it can be the same. It, it, it has but, the same meaning, but it's correct to say, can you tell me who she is? Because remember it's a question and it follows the structure of a question. Mm. So who, subject, and the verb to be. Okay, 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 thank you. Another one? Nope. Okay, so I'm gonna go with the attendance and then I'm gonna say the conversation like with intonation. Okay, remember, cameras on, full names, and let's get to it. Ana Beatriz Valencia Ruiz. I'm here. Ana Elizabeth Berrios de Sandoval. I'm here. Uh, Brenda Erlinda Sáenz Villatoro. I'm here. Claudia Lorena Carca Morgueta. Diana Yesenia Reyes Salas. I'm here. Estefanía Alexandra Aguilar Céspedes. Florida Alma Ramírez Calderón. I'm here. Estefanía, are you there? We can send you la camera right here. Yes, I'm here. You say Sandra. Estefanía, Estefanía, Alexandra? Yes? Yes, you say Aguilar, but I hear Sandra. Aguilar. Oh, really? No, I said Estefanía, Alexandra. Oh, Alessandra, Sandra, maybe you heard Alessandra. Sandra? Maybe, I don't know. <laughs> Okay, Aguilar, Aguilar Céspedes, right? Okay. Aguilar Céspedes, yes? Yes. Okay, Harbin Isaac Guevara Miranda. Yes. I am here. Jennifer Gisela Lopez Sánchez. I'm here. Okay. Juan José Avalos Campos. I am here. Katia Margarita Herrero Pérez. Kerry Tiffany Rosales Figueroa. Merlin Lisbeth Ventura Cruz. Miguel Ángel Centeno. Miguel Ángel? I'm here. Okay, okay. Se lo dio al fondo. Uh, Rolando Antonio Quintanilla, Ciudad Real. I'm here. Ruth Saraí Medrano Aguilar. I'm here. Eh, Ruth Noemí Sánchez Pérez, no not here. Suleima Lisset Méndez Romero. I'm here, teacher. William Antonio Morales Mancia. Jessica Yanari Cortez Diaz. Oh, she's not here. Huh. Okay. Um, Silvia Maria Rivera Rivas. Okay. Thank you, guys. So, I, I guess. Just, Jessica had a problem with, with the internet, maybe. 
porque aquí están diciendo que se ha ido la luz en un montón de lugares de San Salvador. Maybe. Yeah, I don't know. Okay, very good. So I'm going to share my screen again, guys. Excuse me, I am looking for Miss Chavez. Can you tell me who she is? Sure. She's the recruitment coordinator. I see. And could you tell me about her responsibilities? Mm, basically, she provides Basically, she provides recruiting administrative support for the team of recruiters. I understand. And does Mr. Salgado work here? What does he do? Yes, Mateo Salgado. He is the talent management consultant. Where can I reach him? He returns at one o'clock. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Claro que yes. Okay. Very good. So I'm going to send you to breakout rooms to practice the conversation. But just before we go, Ana is at home already. Suleyma is at home already. Harvin, why is your camera off? Jennifer, camera off. And Estefania, she's still driving? Maybe. It's raining a lot. Well, let's try to make the possible to participate, please. I'm just gonna put a so Stefania who's having problems. Oh, but she disconnected. Um Harbin. It's raining hard. So okay, 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 okay. Thank you for letting me know. Just 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 Okay, let's go to the breakout rooms. Merlin, are you st still driving? No, I'm I'm arriving to my house. Right oh, okay, now. okay, okay. So I'm yes, gonna I'm send working. you. Yes. Um, can I send you to a breakout room to practice the conversation? Okay. Okay, pretty good. Let me see, where can I send you? Mm -hmm. There. Hello. Hello. Tuve, tuve problemas con el internet. No, okay, okay. Uh -huh, uh -huh. So your classmates right now are practicing the conversation in the breakout rooms. I'm going to send oh, okay. you to a breakout room, okay? Okay, yeah, thank you. Okay.
Ackman. Yes. Jennifer. 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 You continue. Okay. <laughs> uh, I see. And um, could, could you tell me about her responsibilities? Basically, she provides recurring administrative support for the team of recurrents. <laughs> I don't know who said that word. I think that is basically. basically. The last word. Not the first. Basically. She provides recruit, recruiting. I the pronunciation of recruiting. Recruiting. Yes. Recruiting. Re, re, and the last re, word? Recruiting. Recruiting. Re, recruiting. 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 And recruiters. And the. Salgado, he is the Italian management consultant. Where where can I reach him? He, he returned at uh, one o'clock. Okay. Now, now I can be Chan and you, Anna, you can be Dorian. Okay. Okay. Excuse me. I'm looking for Miss Chavez. Can you tell me who she is? Sure. She's the recruitment coordinator. I see. And yeah. And could you tell me about her responsibilities? Basically, she provides recruiting administrative support for the team of recruiters. I understand. And does Mr. Salgado work here? What does he do? Yes, Mateo Salgado. He's the talent management consultant. Where can I reach him? He returns at one o'clock. Okay, nice. Now, uh, Juan Jose. Recruiting and progress. Well, so. Brenda. Okay, now <laughs> I am <and> Jessica. <laughs> okay. Okay. Brenda and Jessica. Okay. Where's Mr. Next. Chang? You. Okay, I will be Mr. Chang. Excuse me, I'm looking for Miss Chavez. Can you tell me who she is? Sure. She is the recruitment coordinator. I see. Wow, Jessica, really good pronunciation of recruitment. <laughs> Thank you. Good. It's the first breakout room I go to, and the pronunciation is good. Excellent. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> okay. I see, and I. I don't know what is the pronunciation. Recurring. No. Recurring. 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 Rino. No. Recurring. 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 Everyone. Recurring. Every 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 room is having problems with those words. Recurring. Recurring. And the next recruitment. Okay. Recurrent. <laughs> what? Recurrent. What? Which one? Recur. Uh, the next one on oh, team of recurrence. I don't know. The team, the team, the team. Let me see. Let me see. Isn't the first oh, yeah. it's the same sentence? Oh, recruiters. 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 Crew, crew. Recruiters. 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 Okay. <laughs> That's fine. It's That's difficult fine. teacher. Yeah, I know. Okay. When we come back mm -hmm. to the when we go back to the main session, I'm gonna play the, the work for you. Okay. Thank okay. you. Thank you. Okay. Thank okay. You. Where came I read him? He returned at one o'clock. Okay. Okay. Are you Mr. Chen? Excuse me, I am looking for Miss Chavez. Can you tell me who she is? Sir, 
She is the recruitment coordinator. I see. And could you tell me about her responsibilities? Basically, she provides the queuing administrative support of the of, for the team of the queuers. I understand. And does Mr. Salgado work here? What does he do? Yes. Mateo Salgado, he is the talent management consultant. Where can I reach him? He returned at one o'clock. Okay. Okay. You start. You start. You. <laughs> okay. Okay. Excuse me. I'm looking. Hello. 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 Aquí les estoy buscando las pronunciaciones que tanto les costaron. Oh my God. It was like rah, 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 rah. recruiting, recruiting, right? <laughs> It was a lot of struggle there. So I'm going to play this for you. Recruiting is difficult. <laughs> Which one? Well, <laughs> recruiting, recruitment, and recruiter. <laughs> recruiting, recruiting. The pronunciation is Recru difficult. Recruiting, 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 recruiting. Recruiters, recruiters. The first one is recruitment. Recruit. No, 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 no. Recruitment, recruitment, recruitment. Rec The second one is recruiting. Recruiter, recruiting. And the And last one is recruiter. 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 Recruiters. Yes. Recruiter. And the person who was saying it really good, it was Jessica. Jessica was pronouncing those words really good. So let me share my screen with you guys so you can listen to the pronunciations. So the first one is this. Recruitment. Oh, wait, wait, wait. What are these? Recruitment. 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 Despacio, slow. Recruitment. 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 
Vamos con la siguiente. ¿Sí la pueden ver? ¿Can you see it? Recruiting. Recruiting. Recru, recru, recruiting. 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 Okay. Recruitment. Recruiting. Recruiting. Recruitment. The last one. It's recruiters. 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 Más despacio. Recruiters. 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 Yes. Oh my God, are you sleeping? Are you sleepy? You're like, oh my God, bitch. No, we're hearing you. Okay, 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 okay. I'm okay. Repeat, repeating the, the word. You're repeating the pronunciations? Yeah. Okay, 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 okay. So, I hope so. Because it's so hard, those words. So the first one will, will be like recruitment, recruitment, recruitment. The other one will be recruiting, recruiting, and the last one will be recruiters, recruiters. Oh my God, no, I hope tengo esto arriba. Okay, recruiters. And, 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 there were some other pronunciations. Okay, so I'm gonna show you. Que yo escuché cuando fui a los break rooms. Let me see where this is. There, okay. So this one is pronounced basically. Basically, basically, no. Basically, 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 okay? The other one, well, recruiters, this one. This one, I heard some people say, sur, sur, is sure, sure, come on, sure, sure, sure. And this one, Consult, consultant, consult, something like that you were saying, but it's consultant, 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 consultant. Okay? Yes? Repeat. Recruitment, recruitment, recruitment. Recruiting, recruiting, recruiting. Recruiters, 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 recruiters. Okay, good. Okay, let's answer these questions, you guys. So, Jessica, can you read the first question? Okay. Who, who is Mrs. Chavez? Mrs. or Miss? No, sorry. Who's Miss Chavez? Okay, so thank you very much. Um, Suleima, who's Miss Miss Chavez? She is the she is the recruitment coordinator. Sorry, coordinator. <laughs> okay, the, it was interesting, Suleima, because recruitment you say it perfect, <laughs> and coordinator was like oh. <laughs> the Sorry. first word was like the most difficult one. You say it really good. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Thank you very much. Uh, let's go with Miguel. Can you read the second one? What do you think Mr. Chan does? Huh. What can it be his job, Flor? Mm, I, I, I'm not sure, teacher. Maybe he's, uh, he, he works in the recruitment area too, like, like, like Miss Ch Chavez. Okay, so he works, you think he works in the recruitment area? Maybe, yes. Okay, okay. Thank you, thank you. Who else, or who thinks different? I think so, uh, he's from desk. He's from? From desk. From the desk? Uh-huh, from the desk. Okay, another, another answer? Maybe he's a new employee. Okay, auditor is the first one. And Brenda, you said? A new employee. A new employee. Excuse me, let's let's analyze the conversation. Excuse me, I'm looking for Miss Chavez. Can you tell me who she is? I don't remember. I see. Can you tell me about her responsibilities? I understand. And does Mr. Salgado work here? What does he do? 
Where can I reach him? I don't know, guys, but just talking about logic. Or manager. Uh, yeah, it can be the manager or logic like this. Maybe this person is from human resources. Because we have been talking about what is the topic for today? Human resources, right? So maybe this person is from human resources and is looking for these people, right? Don't you think? Does it make sense to you? Yes, maybe no? a new employee of human resources. Maybe a new employee from human resources or otra teoría conspirativa can be that this person is from another company and these people, Ms. Chavez and Mr. Salgado have applied to a new job position and he's looking for references in the workplace. Because that what, that's, what, that's what human resources does, you guys, or isn't it? Like, for example, if you work from a company, for a company, and then you apply to another company, usually sometimes they will call your, your actual, like your, your, your company, the work company you're currently working for, and they will ask references about you. Have you ever heard about that? Yeah, and they have to say good references about you if you want to get the job. So maybe that's something, I don't know, I don't know. I'm just guessing, okay? Let's continue. Okay, we have a reading here. Read the information on the HR personnel, then answer the questions below. So this is an exercise we are going to do. So I'm going to read this for you, and then you're going to practice your reading. So these are like the requirements for each position. So the first position that we have in this company is recruitment, recruitment coordinator. What is necessary for this job? Bachelor's degree, organizes schedules of candidate interviews, opens and posts requisitions, requisitions, requisitions. That word sounds weird to me. Requisitions, 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 maybe requisitions. Maybe requirements. Let me look. Requisitions. Requisitions. You see, it's requisitions. 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 Yeah, that's how I thought. Yo a veces no conozco la palabra, pero sé cómo se pronuncia. But I don't know. It's queer for me. Maybe the requirements. The requisitions. Opens and post requisitions. Coordinates internal and internet job positions. Has a degree in management. Management. That, that was another word you had problems with. Works with and supports a recruiting, recruiting. Remember, you're going to pronounce these words again, you guys, so you better practice. Recruiting team has five years of experience. <sighs> what I have been telling you, right? Every work needs experience. But if you don't work, how are you going to get experience? I don't know. Works on weekdays, works part-time, part-time. What is a part-time job, you guys? When you work mm -hmm. a few hours a day. Half day. Half day or just a few hours, excellent. Benefit specialist. This is the other job position. Benefit specialist. Analicen ahí a cuál pueden aplicar. Bachelor's degree develops, listen, develops and maintains competitive, competitive, you will say competitive, 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 progressive and proactive compensation plans. Okay. Creates cost effective benefit programs to provide motivation, motivation, incentives and rewards for effective performance, okay? Works on weekdays, 
part-time job, three years of experience in this position. No, have never been this. Talent management consultant, bachelor's degree, responsible for leadership development, leadership, leadership development, career development, assesses, 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 assesses performance, learning and development. Works on Saturday, hmm, full-time job, one year of experience. Well, this one is better. Human resources generalist, bachelor's degree, maintains knowledge of legal, legal requirements and government reporting regulations affecting human resources. Responds to inquires, inquires, inquiries, no inquiries, yes, inquiries, yeah, inquiries. Responds to inquiries regarding policies, policies. Please don't go to the break rooms and say police, policies, policies, police, policies, policia, yeah. policies, it's policies, policies. Produces and programs. Works on Saturday, part-time job, five years of experience in similar position. Do you need yes. uh, help with pronunciation, Jessica? Uh, no, I don't know. I don't know. And human resource general generalists. Yeah. Um, Response pros procedures. You say not producers. You say producer, but. Record. Oh, thank you, thank you very much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, me dyslexia. Response to inquiries regarding policies, procedures, procedures. That is the correct word, procedures, procedures, and programs, okay? Do you need help with another word, guys? Nope, all good? You say no, but when we go to the breakout rooms, you're like, blah, 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 blah. what is that? No? Okay. So uh, please take a screenshot of this if you can. I don't know, maybe if you can take the screenshot because I'm going to go down to the other part. Procedures. Yes. No me creían, lo buscaron. Procedures. Yes, it's procedures. Okay, let's go down here. So answer the questions made by an external auditor. Number one, was the, what does the recruitment coordinator do? What is the recruitment coordinator's experience? When does the recruitment coordinator work? Okay, so if you can ask, answer these questions for every, every, every part. So for example, this is the recruitment coordinator. So what does the, the other question? Okay, se lo voy a decir en español para que me entiendan. Estas son las preguntas de ejemplo, ¿ok? So, para, este es para el primer job que está aquí. Para el, para el segundo, en la posición es Benefit Specialist, right? So, vamos a preguntar, what's, what does the benefit, benefit Specialist do? ¿Ok? ¿Cuál es lo que hace esta persona? What is the Benefit Specialist experience? And when does the benefit specialist work? Okay, do you understand? These are just like the guy questions, but you have to answer these questions for the four job positions, okay? Yes? yes. So, we're gonna go to the breakout rooms real, real quick. Vamos a ir a los breakout rooms. Vamos a leer cada job position. Vamos a ver práctica de pronunciación ahí. When does the recruitment? No, I don't understand the last question. ¿Cuándo trabaja? ¿Cuándo trabaja? Uh -huh. ¿Cuándo se le pide que trabaje en esa compañía? Saturday. ¿Qué días? Oh, okay. Okay. I, okay. 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 Very good. So, uh, van a leer primero and then van a hacer un ask and answer. Van a hacer preguntas y respuestas. Yes. Sobre los trabajos. Entendido. Clarísimo como el agua. O como la horchata de Usulután. Dicen que es famosa, Yugas, yo no sé, ¿cómo que vivo? Buenísima. 
¿Es famosa de verdad? En los guajaditos de morro. Yeah, yeah, they do it like that. Yeah, that's true. Okay. Cerca de la iglesia de Shulton. Exactly. <laughs> ah, ya vi que le gusta ir a pasear un ratito. Very good. <laughs> no sé si se acuerda usted, pero los, los de, uh, vendían hot dogs, eh, tortas, hamburguesas a un lado de la iglesia también por el en el parque. Mm, en el parque venden todo. Papita, no, pero ¿no? antes, no, antes estaba, no sé si ahora estará, estarán adentro. Como un kiosquito. Ajá. Ah, Ahí no, no, ya no yo creo que no había nacido yo. <risa> Gracias. <risa> ah, oh my God, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. No, 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 no. Pero sí me no, han dicho que había algo así. Tengo 33 años. Ya, yeah, ya. Yeah. Pero entonces, ¿cuánto, cuánto, ¿qué edad tenía cuando vio eso? Quizás unos ocho años tenía. Yeah, tal vez no había nacido. Yo. No, 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 espérese, ya había nacido, pero tenía un año, so it's okay. <ríe> un ah, año o dos. Ya, ya, ok, ok, ok. No, pero I think, ya, yeah, yeah, no está ahí, ya. Yeah. It's not there anymore. Ok. Yeah. Ok, so let me just, 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 just. Espérenme, que tengo que poner a personas que no hablan con personas que sí hablan, porque si no. Los que hablan no dejan hablar al otro y los que, y los que no, perdón, los que sí hablan no dejan hablar al otro y los que no hablan no. Pues si dejo a dos personas así en un break room, hmm, yo will see that. Cámaras apagadas, micrófonos apagados. Let me see, this is good. No, I don't think this is good. No, this is not good. I'm going to change this person real here and I think this is better. Mm, no, I don't like this. This is better. This is better. Yeah, this is better. Hello, Katia. Hello, teacher. Uh, where are you working? Uh, no, I come in to my home, but I am having my diner. <laughs> dinner. Dinner, yes. So, in Merlin, you didn't get the invitation to go to the breakup rooms? I sent you to the breakup rooms. You didn't get it? No? Okay, let me see. Try now. Okay, uh, Katia, I'm gonna send you to a breakup room so you can participate with your classmates, okay? And okay. at the end of the class, today you have the private session, okay? Yes. Okay, yes. very good. I was like, oh my God, she's not coming. What are we gonna do? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, let's go.
great cost effective benefit programs to provide motivation, incentives, and, mm -hmm. and rewards for effective performance. Reward, per performance. Rewards, performance. Uh -huh. Rewards for effective performance, work on weekdays, part-time job, two years of experience in this position. Okay, I'm gonna tell you the talent management consultant, uh, bachelor degree, responsible for leadership, development, career development, assesses. How do you say this word, teacher? Assesses. 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 Yeah, assesses. Assesses performance, learning and development, works on Saturday. Development. Development, work on, work on Saturday, full-time job, and one year of experience. Okay, human resources generalist, a uh, bachelor degree, maintains, a uh, knowledge of legal requirements and government reporting re regulations affecting human work on Saturdays, full time job, one year of experience. Okay. Mm -hmm. Human resource generalist. Bachelor's degree, maintains knowledge of legal requirement and government reporting regulations affecting human resources. Response, response to inquiries regarding policies, procedures and programs. Procedures. Procedures and programs work on Saturday part-time job, job five years of experience in similar positions. Okay. Right. So the what questions. What does the management consultant do? It's responsible for leadership development. Mm -hmm. um, Assess performance, learning and development. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Recruiting, recruiting team. Uh -huh. recruiting, um, what is the recruitment coordinator recruiting. experience? Recruiting. 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 No, recru. Crew. Recruiting. 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 Para empezar, para empezar, la R hay que so hacerla suave. Okay? Recruiting. Recruiting. R, R, R. Recurement. No, recurring. Listen to me, listen to me, listen to me, pues listen to me. <laughs> R, R, recruiting. 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 Sí, pero la R, Diana, la R. Recruiting. No, me la hace muy fuerte esa R. Recruiting. Ok. R, recruiting. 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 Como que esa, esa R se quedará aquí arriba, arriba. Recruiting. 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 Ese último que dejo. Miren, se lo voy a enviar. Recruiting. Recruiting. We have synonymous of this word. Recruiting. Recruiting. Yes. Recruiting. 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 No, miren, ahí está en el chat. No me pongan ahí donde no va. Miren. I can see the chat. Y es en el chat. Pero la R es suave, recuerden. Recruiting. 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 Yes, that's better. Recruiting. Yes, that's better. Recruiting. In the second, 
What is the, the human resources human generally? Resources. And, and five years, but mm -hmm. in similar positions. Mm -hmm. A esta hora mm -hmm. de la noche, el gallo? <laughs> yes, in my house, yes. <laughs> okay, well, te está dando las doce ya casi, pero se adelantó, dígale. It's crazy. <laughs> yeah, I know. Vi una luz de un carro y dijo, uy, ya amaneció. Sí, sí. No Le voy a poner bajo porque si no los míos van a empezar también. Un callo empieza y todos empiezan, you guys. Ok, continue, continue. Ok. So the second is uh, fighters in back. Sources. Okay. Rolando, what is the uh, human resource generalist experience? Is five years of experience in similar positions. Okay, guys. Hey, uh, did you finish? Are you practicing again or, or you're not, not finished? We already finished, but we were practicing the, the questions. Okay, we okay. Okay, that's fine. Now let's talk about you. So, vamos a hablar de, la, de cuáles fueron los requisitos para el trabajo que tenemos nosotros. Qué era lo que pedían. Okay, so try to speak about that in English. Okay. Híjole, it's too difficult. <laughs> no, try it, try it, try it. Let's go. <laughs> guys, 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 vamos a la siguiente actividad. La siguiente actividad es de hablar de los requisitos que se pidieron para el trabajo de ustedes. ¿Cuáles serían los requisitos para el trabajo de ustedes? Ahora habla, o sea, usen esto como una plantilla, pero vamos a hablar de qué, qué requisitos era para que usted pudiera trabajar. Yes. Ok. Uh -huh. Ok. So, tomen turnos para decir esos requisitos, ok. okay. Excelente. Does the recruitment... Hello, hello, guys. <laughs> Disculpenme que las voy a interrumpir así de repente. Ahora vamos a hablar, es la siguiente actividad. La siguiente actividad es hablar de cuáles eran los requisitos para sus puestos de trabajo. Ahora van a hablar de ustedes. Ours. Van a hablar, yes, van a hablar cuál es el título de su trabajo y cuáles son los requisitos para ese trabajo. ¿Ok? En inglés. Ok. Ok. Ok, good. Hello, hello. Oh, hello guys, ahora vamos a la siguiente actividad, miren la siguiente actividad se trata de que ustedes hablen de cuál es el título de su trabajo 
ok, cuál es su, por ejemplo, el mío es un es teacher, right? ¿Cuál es el, el, el título de su trabajo? ¿Y cuáles son los requisitos para trabajar de lo que usted trabaja? Ok, so the experience, el grado de estudio, the activities you're going to do, los días que se tienen que trabajar, si tienen rotative schedules, mencionan rotative schedules, ok. ¿Me entienden la actividad que van a hacer? Yes. yes. Ok, ok, good, very good. Ok. Um, ok. Um, so, I will start uh, the position. Maybe I'm the required, correct? correct? Requirement. Uh, required. Recruitment. 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 Requ yes, the, uh, yes, the recruiter. Oh, the recruiter. Rec You're the recruiter. Yes. Recruiter. Okay. okay, I'm looking for a coach and the experience. No, 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 van a hablar de su position. Merlin, por ejemplo, usted qué hace en su trabajo? Okay, I'm a coach. Oh, you're a coach. Okay. Y cuál yes. ahí hable, o sea, cuáles son los requisitos para trabajar de lo que usted trabaja? Ah, okay. 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 Okay, okay I'm a coach and the requires uh, for this position uh one year in experience.
Hello. Hi, teacher. Hello, hello. Quiero ver esto. Ah, miren. Ahora se ve mi micrófono, ahora no. <laughs> no. No querían venir, ¿por qué? Estaba interesting hablar de sus jobs. Yeah, was interesting about our jobs. Yeah, right. I guess it was interesting, but it's time. So let's go to the last attendance. Remember cameras on and full names. So Jennifer, please turn your camera on. Ana Beatriz Valencia Ruiz. I'm here. Excellent. Eh, recuerden que solo cuando digan I'm here, encendemos el micrófono. Ana Elizabeth Berrios de Sandoval. I'm here. Brenda Arlinda Sáenz Villatoro. I'm here. Claudia Lorena Carca Margueta. Diana Yesenia Reyes Alas. I'm here. Estefanía Alexandra Aguilar Céspedes. Florida Alma Ramírez Calderón. I'm here. Harvin Isaac Guevara Miranda. I'm here. Jennifer Gisela López Sánchez. I'm here. Juan José Avalos Campos. I'm here. Katia Margarita Herrero Pérez. I'm here. Jerry Tiffany Rosales Figueroa. Merlin Lisbeth Ventura Cruz. I'm here. Miguel Ángel Centeno. I'm here. Rolando Antonio Quintanilla Ciudad Real. I'm here. Ruth Saraí Medrano Aguilar. I'm here. Ruth Noemí Ruth Noemí Sánchez Pérez no está aquí Zuleima Lisset Méndez Romero I'm here William Antonio Morales Mancía Jessica Ayanari Cortés Díaz I'm here and Silvia María Rivera Rivas Excellent you guys So I will see you tomorrow okay? and I'm going to stay with Katia today Right? Thank you, okay. teacher. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. 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 Have a great Have night. Have a good day. Good night. You Bye. Bye. too, guys. Sweet Bye. dreams. Bye. 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 Fine, teacher. Were you working late today? Yes. You had to work late? Uh, yes, uh, nine. You had nine. to close, are you in charge of closing the store? Yes. Oh, okay. And where is it that you work? Stradivarius, you said? Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, where and where? And that is Galerias. On Galerias, Galerias. I mm -hmm. thought it was Multiplaza. So, no. but is Galerias close to your house? Yes, it's uh, cerca. Close? Yes. Close, okay, excellent. So maybe when you are working, I don't know if you can connect with your data like that, con los datos, para que no pierda los minutos, porque eso es un problema, perder minutos. Lo que pasa es que el, la, hay días que yo cierro eh, como cajera, entonces cuando yo soy en caja no puedo tener el celular ni nada porque hay que cuadrar. Y hay otros días que cierro como encargada. Entonces, eh, igual lo ideal no es como que esté en el teléfono ni eso, porque igual la encargada debe de cuadrar a la cajera. Entonces, uh -huh. no, no puedo. O sea, la verdad es que se me dificulta porque tendría que agarrar el teléfono justo cuando cierro la tienda. Entonces, no podría conectarme ni siquiera estando justo ahí en el trabajo, porque se cierra justo a las 8 y en todo lo que se arregla la tienda y se cuadra, se viene saliendo como a las 9, 9 y 15. Mm, porque mm -hmm. yo decía por lo menos solo ingresar a la clase y dejarlo, o sea, bajarle volumen, desconectar su cámara, desconectar su audio, no estar presente para nada, pero estar conectada Ajá. para que le cuente el minuto. Ah, ok. Eso o sí sea, lo podría hacer cuando yo cierro como encargada, porque yo, yo estoy como de, en, yo soy como la jefa de la tienda y podría tener mi celular ahí, no hay problema. Pues lo mm. puedo agarrar en cualquier momento y solo ingresar. 
Ajá, solo eso, pero, solo eso. Yo uh -huh. le pido que solo ingrese, apague cámara, apague micrófono y baje volumen para que no le moleste la clase, porque okay. si no, no le cuentan los minutos. Y ese sí sería un problema porque si se está conectando una hora después, estaría como con el 50%. Ah, ok. Entonces, okay. como consejo, yo hago, hago eso y entiendo que cuando usted tenga cámara apagada y micrófono apagado es porque está trabajando. Ok, voy okay. a intentar hacerlo, porque a veces sí, como le comento, no... Cuando no tiene chance de abrir el teléfono, de agarrar el teléfono. Ajá. Uh -huh. Pero lo voy a intentar. Ok, good, good, good. Ok, uh, Katia, do you have any questions about the topics we have been teaching mm. or maybe about other things? The... What is the difference that the since, for, from, and to? Since, from, to? And for. For, okay. So th that was a topic. We, we were talking yes. about that topic, right? So that, I think that was in unit one. Yes, but I, I no, no estuve en la clase. Oh, okay, 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 okay. So we can talk about that. Let me see where I can find it. Okay, but meanwhile, I'm looking for it is since is to say like desde. So since, desde. Mm -hmm. So I have been working in this company. Y dice un año usted. So for example, mm -hmm. he trabajado en esta compañía. I have been working in this company since 2015. Okay. Desde cuando, right? Since. Mm -hmm. so that's since. And from to, <clears throat> usualmente se utilizan juntos. From and two. So mm -hmm. uh, I work from 7 a.m. to 4 p.m. Oh, okay. So that's from two. Pero el from mm -hmm. two también se utiliza para cuando usted da un regalo. Por ejemplo, mm -hmm. decir from es de mí, to, para ti. Okay. From two, en ese caso. Luego, mm -hmm. déjeme ver el otro. Until. Until es otro, ¿verdad? Until mm -hmm. es para mencionar cuando algo se detiene y empieza otra cosa. For example, I work in the company until 2017. Trabajé ahí hasta, pero ese es como hasta ese momento yo dejé de trabajar en ese lugar. Hasta. Okay. Until. Hasta. Then we have the other one. Then. Then es para introducir una siguiente actividad. So for example, I worked at... I don't know, this is just an example. I worked at Tigo, and then mm -hmm. I work at Claro. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So es, es, el then es como una secuencia para administrar mm -hmm. secuencias. Ok. Ok, déjenme ver aquí, tengo... Ok, aquí tengo una, una explicación más de eso, pero eso es como en general. Vale. For, aquí dice, utilizamos for... Para decir un periodo de tiempo, esto no lo había mencionado. Mm -hmm. Somos, I, mm -hmm. I work in Indiana for seven years. ¿Por cuánto tiempo? Mm -hmm. O I work every day for eight hours. Trabajo todos los días por ocho horas. Mm -hmm. Yes. El since que le mencionaba, specific points in the past. Y can be, puede ser también un mes, como yo he trabajado en esta compañía desde enero. I have worked in this company since January. Mm -hmm. Since, ok. From y el to, que van juntos, from and to, es desde cuando yo empecé a trabajar. I stayed there from January to, to November. November. Then, mm -hmm. que es para introducir una siguiente línea de tiempo. I work in that company until 2011. Then, I quit. Te renuncié. Mm -hmm. And until, dice, to mark the end of an activity, period of time. I work in Panama until, hasta que... My project, My project was, was over. over. Okay. Is it clear now? Yes. A otro tema, another one. The verb, the verb, the eh, present. El verbo que estuvimos viendo esta semana. Que estuvimos viendo en esta semana. El presente simple. Ajá. Uh -huh. What? When I use only the verb or the verb to be in verb and the es. Because I, I, today I, I do my homework and the example, eh, algunas palabras eran como art y el verbo, otras eran como que el verbo era con es, que era lo que usted dijo ayer, porque era varios, they. No, 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 no. La S se agrega cuando es tercera persona. Ajá, tercera persona. Cuando tenemos he, she, it. Ajá, uh ajá. -huh, uh -huh. Y ahora había otra 
otra parte que solo se ponía el verbo. Entonces, es, ¿cuándo son se cuando... utilizar? Ok, ok, le explico. Cuando se utiliza solo el verbo en su forma base, es cuando tenemos pronombres como I, you, we, they. Uh -huh. Todos los otros pronombres. I, you, we, they. So, uh -huh. I live in El Salvador, right? Pero si fuera uh -huh. una tercera persona, she, ahí digo she lives. Lives. En El Salvador. Uh -huh. okay. Cuando es la tercera persona, yo utilizo la S. Ahora, está el presente simple del verbo to be, que ahí nos, si es el presente simple, no tendría que ir con otro verbo. Simplemente es como I am a teacher. Uh -huh. Y you are, pero en el presente simple del verbo to be, cambia según la persona. Por ejemplo, con I, el verbo to be que corresponde es am. Um, uh -huh. Con she yes. es is. En con you es are. Ahí en ese caso. Uh -huh. Si sí hay casos donde el verbo to be se utiliza con otros verbos, pero ese ya no es presente simple, ese es presente continuo. Progress. Ajá. Progress, sí, Ajá. Yeah. Es que lo, lo que pasa es que así lo, habían, lo había como aprendido yo. Uh -huh. eh, y que incluso se le ponía lo del ING y eso. Ese es el problema. Pero la, ajá. ajá, pero en la tarde, entonces yo, había, yo también había entendido que si era solo el verbo, entonces a veces no se utilizaba el, el, el to be. Pero ahora en, en, los, en los ejemplos que estuve viendo en las tareas, algunos sí llevaban, por ejemplo, you are y el verbo y el verbo normal. Y otras oraciones no iba el to be, solo iba I work. ¿Cuál, cuál ejercicio es ese? Ay, no recuerdo. Pero es, es uno de los, de los últimos, antes de pasar a la unidad 3. Es en la unidad 2, entonces. Uh -huh. mm, que me parece interesante entender ahí que... Es de los últimos... Ah, pero no es el midterm que dice cuatro preguntas, ¿no? No, es antes de esos. Ok, te veamos aquí, tarea 9. It is strange. Oh, 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 oh. Tal vez es este que me dice usted. ¿Esto? Mm, no, más abajo. No, no, es quiero este. ver. no. no porque no. ese es lo, lo de. Quiero ver. It is a beautiful day. No, Lisa. Mm. No. No. No, um, este maybe. No, porque okay. esa es la de, lo, lo de los, no recuerdo. Adverbs, vale, entonces yo creo que tal vez es en, en las que están antes del examen, el midterm, este que dice cuatro preguntas, tal vez es este. No, this is not. Mm -hmm. O quizás sí, lo que pasa es que ese era de varias partes. Pero no es este My Boss, Cleans, His Office. Ajá, creo que sí. Sí. ¿Sí este es? Uh -huh. Aquí hay unos que sí están, pero porque están incorrectos, ¿verdad? Se solo uh -huh. va a elegir el correcto, como, por ejemplo, My Boss. ¿Cuál sería el correcto acá? Clean. Cleans. Porque My Boss es un he. Ah, oh, ok. Es una tercera persona. O puede uh -huh. ser una she también, puede ser una she. Uh -huh. My boss uh -huh. cleans. Okay. Bueno, no, no, no. Es un he, obviamente. Uh -huh. Ok, el siguiente. I from Monday to Friday. ¿Cuál utilizaría? Ahí. I, I work. Work, porque es I. Y ahí se utiliza Ajá. el verbo en su forma, el en su forma base. Yes. My sister. Ajá. My sister es una tercera persona. Ok. Y estamos es hablando. Do, do es. Do es not. Doesn't not yes. take. No, así se dice. Doesn't. La abreviación. Doesn't. Sin el not. Does, porque ya okay. va unido. Doesn't take. Doesn't take. Mm. Aquí birds. Estamos okay. hablando de varios animales. Por lo tanto sería birds. Always. Always sing in the morning. Very good. She is always. She's always early for classes. She's always. Let's see. Yes. Good job. Ba so. Ajá. Entonces, ahí era mi pregunta. ¿Por qué no en vez de she's ponerle always? 
como como el, de, el de los pajaritos, que solo le pusimos always. Ah, ok, porque aquí no hay un verbo, eh, Katia. Mire, se fija, she early for classes. Ah, Ella okay. temprano para las clases. Entonces, uh -huh. si yo po no pongo el is, solo digo ella siempre temprano para clases. Pero cuando uh -huh. pongo el is, ya se convierte en ella siempre está temprano. Ah, ya, yeah. ok. Ok, ahí porque esto es un adverbio, esto son uh, frecuencias de tiempos, ok. Uh -huh. Ok, uh -huh. entonces eso okay. sería todo, yes. Yes. Ok, thank so thank you Katia, I will see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye bye, have a good night.